All right, guys, welcome back. Another day in my paradise. We got 2018 Audi A5 Cabriolet. This is an interesting comparison to the 2018 C300 Cabriolet I did a couple weeks ago. If you guys want to go check out that video, I'll put a annotation like right up here someplace. Anyway, let's see how this does. Got a good feeling about this one. Let's do the button test. Now, this is where Audis seem to shine a little bit more than some of the other cars on the channel, and uh, you'll see why.
And now for the final button. All right, how did the interior do? If I were to build an interior personally and start my own car company, this is probably honestly how I'd, I'd do it. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but um, well, here we go. I mean, minimal squeaks, pretty good materials overall. Um, not perfect with the squeaks. There were a couple very minor ones that might be hard to pick up on the, uh, on the video. Wasn't perfect, but it was damn close. Um, I wish Mercedes could do this, honestly. And actually a lot of other brands too. I wish they could get on Audi's level. Audi seems to be one of the leaders on my channel as far as fit and finish goes. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which I think is very strong. This car definitely deserves it. As far as materials go, this one uh, definitely shines. The only thing I'm not a fan of is we got fake leather here, or if it is real leather, it is a very low grade of leather. It does not feel like a higher end leather, and I've seen nice premium leather in other Audi models. Usually the S and RS cars, I've seen it. Back to uh, plastic for the sun visors. Again, wish it was at least cloth, but uh, I could argue this is even worse than Mercedes. And that's saying a lot. Everything else though is soft touch. Um, with all their plastics, I feel that um, Audi does pretty good as far as texture. Again, sounds a little bit weird, but then yeah, that's why you watch my videos is because I go that far in depth. See the texture here is good. It's got a nice little kind of rubbery feel to it. So Audi, in my opinion, does quite well with soft touch. And with their plastics, we got the exposed grain wood over here, or the natural grain wood, whatever you want to call it. Very luxurious. I know how Mercedes has that too. At least this one doesn't squeak. I saw a comment one time saying that the Mercedes interior squeaks because it uses real wood. And I'm like, other cars have real wood too, and they don't squeak. How do you explain that? I don't think he replied to my comment, so... There you have it. And last but not least, I am loving the buttons that they put in, not just Audis, but all the cars in the uh, Volkswagen group. They're very, very tactile, very clicky. I absolutely love that. Also loving the knurling on the outside, it makes it feel more expensive, like on a Bentley, which is also the same company that makes this car, Volkswagen. So, pretty good materials overall. Love the buttons. Honestly, favorite buttons in the industry. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for materials. So there you go. 8 out of 10 for fit and finish. 7 out of 10 for materials. I think that's pretty strong. Let me know what you guys think. Also, don't forget to check out the Amazon affiliate links. Helps me out a tiny bit. And I will catch you next video. I think we're going to do a, an RR next Stay tuned for that. Anyway, see you guys next video. Peace.